Hey, collectives. I wanted to say this. Uh, today and yesterday, well, yesterday I took a lift. I had no choice. I had to take a lift a couple of places because my car was down. And um, just like clockwork, I was in Roseville handling some business. And um, I sat in front of this building. I mean, I could have moved and went somewhere else, but I sat in front of this building waiting for my ride. And um, by clockwork, whoever it is, they're on my phone. My phone got really hot and I couldn't access my apps, whatever. So this blue um, Audi SUV pulls up. And um, when he pulled in, um, he didn't even acknowledge me. He sat in his car with his head down. That's the that's stuff that they all do. It's like their MO. They look forward and they keep their head down. It's like, you guys are not even smart. You're not even, I mean, whatever. So I sat there for about a good, I mean, maybe 15 minutes, whatever. And then after that, I leave. And then I went to, um, took a lift to Walgreens. Um, you know, I had to buy some essentials and stuff like that, like tissue and laundry soap and shit like that. And then after that, um, I had to wait for the lift again, took me to my destination. And like clockwork, they were right there. I'm like, what is up with these people? Like, what is up? Like, you guys managed to evict me out unlawfully, which I'm going to still fight that case. You know, I have some time on that. I'm not worried about all that. And um, because they're frauds, you know. And now they have the uh, these apartment management people, wherever they're from, whatever community they're from. They followed me all the way to Granite Bay, Roseville, um, partially the south side, but they branched off. You know, I took I took heed. One of them, I was doing, I was working, and I was doing my runs, and I was up in um, Roseville, and obviously they're on my phone. It's quite obvious. I mean, I know I can see them. The dots are there. It's like my dot and then their dot, like right next to mine. And whoever it was was in a white um, SUV, and then they were like right next, like where I was, you know, drop off my order. And then when they see me. They moved forward, backed in, wrote on their tenant window, and act like they were doing something. And then when I was leaving, they left. But I guess to you know mess with me. But you know I don't react because I read, these people are stupid. They're dumb. And some people will, will react and yell and whatever. But this is classic. You know what I mean? Because I read stories on this. I read many books, watched many videos. Um, I've been around as well, so I know the game. So. Um, and the same individual was a black dude or African American <laughs> um, was at my destination where I was at. I was like, these people are insane. I don't know who they are. And then it came today. I was getting my car fixed, and um, and like I said, I want to say thank you. You know, you guys, you know who you are. Um, they came in a white Ford. That was the same car where that dreadhead guy came and stopped me at my temporary location. And they came to the windows with a black dude. He backed in. He seen me. I couldn't get the I couldn't get my camera out fast enough. I tell you, I was preoccupied with you know my car. And it took off. I guess to see because I think I believe they're the ones who tampered my car. But see, my car was tampered at the temper location. There's supposed to be some type of surveillance, um, which I told there was. And um, neighborhood watch because there's a lot of employees, even what I mean, who work in different communities. I know that already. And so it's all quite obvious. And when they tampered my car in January, and then I did it again recently, and then I was working, my car just like pretty much was like gone. It was the sparking, smoking, you know, through the alternator, you know, it was a shortage. Cause you know they cut my alarm back in 2021 as well but they're gonna pay for that too so anyways long story short you know like i said they managed to evict me out i'm not gonna run because obviously it's about my inheritance my money and they put false information to the system you know of course it's not what you know it's whom you know so i remember in the, in the previous community i used to live in they were like yeah don't worry we got somebody in the in the courts which is the investors or the real estate owners and their attorneys and people talk to 
So people already had, already had a preconceived notion of me because I lived in that ghetto. You know what I'm saying? And that ghetto, those people, you know, they're, <laughs> you know, it's majority a that community. And I was advised to move a long time ago. I stayed seven years too long. And of course, I was a victim of identity theft. Um, if you look online, my date of birth, I have like multiple date of births. You know what I'm saying? As if they're trying to hide something. And so, you know, they've been doing a lot of scheming and scamming. I'm not the only one. It's just that, unfortunately, you know, I went about it a certain way. I'm not, a lot of other tenants been going through this. I didn't even think because most of them are, you know, they don't know, they don't have a know how. They'll cuss you out, whatever. Or they don't know their identity has been stolen. And at one point, like I said before, in one of my other videos, I was way up in New York somewhere. I'm like, what? And then my mom's name, and she's deceased, was up in Connecticut. Now, how about that? So anyway, so they keep continuing to harass me and follow me. Because I'm assuming they want to find out um, who do I know, if somebody's helping me. Um, you know, they're on my phone, too. They're on my emails, watching everything. <laughs> it's comical because they're so predictable. It's like, it's it's funny to me. It's very comical. But they don't believe that it's me, that I that I do it by myself. Because, you know, the thing that is, because when you live in a certain community, people prejudge you. They have this preconceived notion that, you know, low education equates to poverty. At times, too. But, you know, they put me in poverty because, like I said, when I was working before, they were harassing me. Whoever it was at that time, calling my employer, um, one job, another job, back and forth to court for no reason because they knew what was in store for me. Because, see, you know, when you're in the system, like if you're in an official person, they say, or higher ups, or in the judicial system, they have access to a lot of information. All they can do is put your social security number in the system and say, oh, what investments or inheritance so they already know or knew everything about me and they knew because when i was trying you know i was sort of my business and even before i had a small business before and when my kids were younger we used to sell like hats and pictures shit like that on the street you know you know we set up shopping and everything else that's how I mo my, my children are entrepreneurs you know but um it didn't try to start a business in that, that ghetto they were in my internet, they were dismantling my um, my website, you know, um, my advocacy efforts, and, you know, they stole from me, they broke last my unit, but then they say I'm broke and this and that. Okay, yeah, I am, but yet you're stealing from me. You know what I'm saying? You're burglarizing my unit, stealing my stuff, and then they also stole my identification, like I said before, and my, um, what is it, my identification, social security card, my son's birth certificate, in 2020 this is when i was doing uber and it's quite obvious everything was premeditated i don't give a fuck what nobody say i don't give a fuck but you know they're you know these people are cowards they can't face me face to face you know what i mean you know the one crazy ass woman who assaulted me at north islands see she was paid she got a big thick envelope or envelope by the maintenance man um after she assaulted me and the sheriff didn't do shit about it. If you read the report, you can see the first part was like, okay, you know. But towards the end, you can see that he tried to make up something like it was my fault. But they knew it because they were up to no good in that community. And I always wonder why. But then I found out, okay, after my mom passed, things were coming to the forefront. But anyways, uh, I want to keep rambling on. But I want to say this. Um, I know who's been tapping in my car. I'm not saying who. Um, I know the gangs or whatever you're gonna call them, these gang stalkers, whatever. You know, the thing it's funny is the apartment management. I never experienced it before. I never been followed by this before until I moved to North Island. So I know who it is. And there's a bunch of real estate agents, real investors, attorneys. Because they're mad. They're upset. They're doing it before when I first moved there without me even doing anything. You know, and I didn't know there was hidden cameras in my apartment, and I. Um, I just learned, well, I didn't just learn, I learned it before, I knew it before, but it just brought to my attention that there was this plant hook, right, in my living room, in the North Islands, and I'm like, why would they keep a plant hook? I kind of got mad, you know, at the time when I first moved in, but I, I should have put a plant there, but I wasn't even tripping, because, you know, 
Okay, it's my have plants, life plants, they always die in that, that apartment. Always water it, the water, you know, they'll use the sink water, the water was polluted. And that's how a lot of people get cancer and lymphoma and all kind of shit up in that in that community. Um, but anyways, and then so at one point there was like this little well I have it over here, but I don't wanna get it. It's this little cord that had a, it's like an ox cord, but it was not really it was on my floor. I'm like, where'd this come from? Because I know pretty much what I have as far as like electronics and stuff like that. I'm like, where's this come from? It's like right in my view. Then at one point I was laying on the couch, I looked up in the ceiling, I saw these pinholes above above my couch. And then I'm like, where's that that plant hook? I said, I said to myself, like, where's that plant hook? Whatever. So they came in my apartment because that was an audio device, in my opinion. And they took that down and they plastered because it was cracking, you know, that little hole. I posted it on my community tab. I, I punctured it. I'm like, huh? But you know, there was no forced entry, of course, because it was the maintenance people. So the people are perverts. I don't care what fuck with nobody. Say so they had me in the dark web, exploiting me and my child. Um, you know, changing my uh, arrest records and shit like that. But little did they know, I work for the system, and I had a, a security clearance. So it's like, okay, so what is it? You know what I'm saying? That's what they fucked up at. Because I don't want to say too much more, but overall, you know, they were harassing me today indirectly, laughing and smirking and heckling and, you know, say, yeah, <laughs> you told her she's broke. But I knew she was implying to me, but she was like, I thought she was on the phone. I didn't say anything because, you know, that's not my place to say. And plus, you know, the type of environment I'm in right now. But I already know she works for a different property. I already know this already. I did my research. I did my homework. I observed a lot of things and you know you know the same people who are watching me and following me they're being watched and followed as well best believe you know I put the, I put the dime on it so that's why they don't they can't they don't come forward but all their activities and each time they come like even near me whatever they're being tracked as well you know what I'm saying they even have Afghanistan following me too. So, um, but overall, I know who's going in my car and who's tapping my shit, stealing my stuff, re removing things, putting it in different places. I have certain things in certain places, like my documents or, you know, my mail. I have it in certain places. And, and it reappears somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And um, my trunk was open at one, t at one point. And I'm pretty sure they want to try to set me up. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And if you're going to set me up, do it right. You know what I'm saying? I have no history of no... As they say, I was selling. I was doing this, doing that. Prove it. Because they wanted to get me arrested or do something because they were stealing from me. And whatever that is, they know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And they're, and they're so... Um, what's the word? Um, well, I don't know. Whatever. But the thing is, when I moved to North Island, that's when it all started for me. That I really acknowledged. But I know it's from the Department of Health and Human Services. That's where they started from. Because my ex was sending documents over to the people. Say, I'm working on the table. I'm a certified tax preparer. I'm this and I'm that. And I shouldn't be in the system. Because they're all involved. Do you understand? Do you comprehend what I'm saying? They're all involved. And then, um, and my thing is this, if there's so much rumors and, you know, uh, accusations, whatever, come and confront me about it. I mean, I have, I hold the secrets, you hear me? I know so much information on people, but I'm the type of person I keep to myself. At one point, I'm going to tell somebody off and tell about themselves about what I know, but I didn't say anything. I keep it to myself. I always have, I've been that way for many years. I have I hold some people's darkest secrets. When they say, "Oh yeah, she this, she that," okay, then whitewashing me in my in a hidden camera in my apartment unit. And another because the majority of the people, places in Sacramento have hidden cameras in their apartments. I don't give a fuck. Prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? So when they're spreading rumors, this and that, and whatever, I hold the key to many things. And I think that's probably why when I said that I hold the secrets, 
people really started getting nervous and started harassing me, seeing who I know, um, who's helping me, and who's typing my things. Because at community, most of the people are dropouts, high school dropouts, fifth grade education, mental health issues, special ed, whatever it is, or, you know, they have, you know, what's it called? Uh, you know, just issues, whatever. And me, I'm thinking, it was a small community, I thought, quiet, and they started fucking with me for no reason. But I know the reason now, because I found out my family was hanging out in the violence for many years. I didn't even know nothing about it. They knew me before I knew them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, keep fucking with me. I'll tell you your secrets. But I'll do it such a way that it will get you. I know a whole lot. Some people thought I was dumb, stupid, I'm a doormat, I'm a, I'm a pushover. No, I was just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, really? You know, I don't know why. Because I already knew some of them were being paid to come to me. I already knew that already. They said the same story, same scenario, went to the same restaurant, so to speak. Um, pool hall. It was, it was so comical, but I pretended like I didn't even know what was going on. I was sitting there like, okay, mm-hmm. Really? Uh huh. They thought was square. You know, that's what they think. I've been around. I asked some people on Southside. I've been around. And I've traveled as well. So I'm learned. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is a word of wisdom. If you want to know something, you gotta humble yourself and listen. Just listen, and they'll tell you everything you need to know. One person came to me, they had all, all these fucking clothes on. I'm <laughs> like, damn. I already knew the setup because they had said, so, what is it with you and uh, uh, Judge there's such and such? I'm like, what? Why are you being up in my apartment? I said, oh, okay. That's my ex is an ex, uh, former attorney. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, okay. And they started looking at my refrigerator. They tried to set me up. And I'm like, but then you want to come creep with me at late nights. Could they have a, could I use the bathroom? Then they went to my son's room. And I was like, what you doing in there? You know? I was thinking something different. You know what I mean, ladies. Amen. Next thing I know, I had an inspection. And the guy's eyes were like this. Like, like what? Like, he was told something different. Because they're all involved. They're all together. He was a CI, confidential informant for the community. Oh, I got it all. And then when he goes to jail, it's going down. You understand me? I already know who's the CI in the community. I already know who's working for who and for who. It's, it's a wrap. Keep bothering me. And you mess with my car, I'm putting things on your business. Better believe it. Bet. Keep messing with me. I already know who's a confidential informant in the community. I already know it. That's why they're bothering me. They want to know who I know. If I had helicopters following me. I mean, who has that money to do that? Who has the resources to do that? They followed me way to Fair Oaks and the federal building and these helicopters, the sheriff department. Is it because they want to know who I was talking to? Is it because they knew I was on to them? No, because I knew who was the CI in the community. I knew several of them. Some get free rent, not housing free rent. Free rent, free rent. Some people were homeless and they were working as maintenance people. No background check, no none of that shit. Oh, oh, I know it. Oh, yeah. Even the local stores, there were CIs for the commute for the man, probably man, well, the manager. I know who Dibbling Dabbling. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Dibbling Dabbling. I knew who was, who was um, who'd be sending people out, fucking people's cars. At one point, there was like a lot of tenants tires were off on a flat. They pay these people when they want them out. They flatten their tires. You wake up in the morning, you're like, I was always in the window. And I was always wondering why the manager was always going people's mailboxes. Oh. This one, the mailbox is by the office. And they moved it to the back by the garbage can. Oh, yeah. So is that why you're following me? Won't you confront me? Come talk to me. What's wrong? 
and these are employees and most of them don't even have no investments so how much are they paying you but I want to say this for my last time <laughs> if I get off I'm like, it's like 20 minutes keep messing with my car and that tracking device that you have in my car is going to be found and I'm telling you you're going to reap the wrath I'm telling you, he fell in my car, dismantled my alternator. I mean, it almost caught a fire. You guys knew that because you guys fucked with it and broke it. My uh, air filter cover is broken. They broke that. Fucking my inside of my car, taking shit out, going through my documents. It's not been in any way, you know. And I know who's doing it. I know it. They'll lose their license. I'm telling you, you lose your license. You have stuff on your business. You keep messing with me. And make this the last warning. And I'm out.